Today we are building this small subwoofer. This project is a two-part series on building a sound bar with matching subwoofer. However, you can easily use the subwoofer with your own set of stereo speakers. Uh, look out for part two, the sound bar video, coming out in the next week or so. In the meantime, if you want to build this subwoofer, I have plans available for it on my website at soundblab.net. Uh, check the link in the description. Here you can see the finished product, the sound bar and the subwoofer as a combo. So make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when the soundbar video comes out. The subwoofer uses a 6.5 inch driver from Tang Band and a small 2.1 or 0.1 plate amp from Parts Express. The enclosure is all 12mm or half inch MDF. This is a very easy and straightforward build and the subwoofer should be able to deliver tones down into the low 30s. The bracing that I'm installing here was cut on my CNC router and you will see later that I also cut the woofer baffle with the CNC router. However these are very easily marked out and cut with a jigsaw or router on a circle cutting jig. Um, you can also see here that I glued up the brace before actually assembling the parts for the plate amplifier uh, but luckily I made it in time before the glue set.
I recently came across this cordless rechargeable soldering iron on banggood.com and thought I'll take the plunge and get one to try out. I'm always doing fairly quick soldering jobs when I'm working on a project and this soldering iron eliminates those annoying power cords that always gets in my way with a normal main spout soldering iron. The quality is excellent and it heats up in about 5 to 8 seconds, really quick. Uh, this is a 50 watt version but there's also a 30 watt version. Uh, you can also get a few different easily interchangeable tips for these. Uh, they just twist off and on. Uh, charging is via 5 volt micro USB socket. Uh, I will put links in the description to where you can find these for purchase. Definitely worthwhile, powerful and so easy to use in my opinion. To top off the subwoofer enclosure, I am cutting a top plate from 3mm aluminium plate and then just running off the corners before giving it a brushed look with some 240 grit sandpaper and then giving it a coat or two of clear lacquer. Uh, it is then just glued to the top of the enclosure with construction adhesive and weighted down with a few weights. If you want to build a subwoofer like this, I have drawn up comprehensive build plans that will show you step for step how to do it and includes links to everything you will need. So go to my website soundblab.net and go check it out, there will also be a link in the description below. The final step is to add rubber feet to the bottom of the enclosure and then of course uh, to add the Soundblab Resin Dome logo. Uh, you guys might be uh, a bit disappointed that I'm not doing a sound demo right now but it makes more sense to do it during the next video part 2 where I will build the accompanying soundbar to match the subwoofer. So thank you all for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to not miss out on the next video coming out soon. Also if you would like to support my channel further please become a patron where I share behind the scene content of my projects and other useful information about my projects and speaker building and audio in general. A big thanks to all of my current patrons, you guys are amazing for supporting me, it goes a long way to make this channel possible. So until next time, adios.